I received numerous emails from our customers related to starting problems with these gasoline Mercedes engines. And this could be true with other engines too, but in particularly those engines that had the CIS fuel injection system, you can recognize it by this fuel distributor here, and the injectors look like this. And you'd be amazed to learn that some of the starting problems that people experience with these engines could be related to these little units right here. And let me explain. When the engine's running, these little injectors are spraying fuel, and they're spraying fuel all the time. It's not like a diesel fuel injector where it's squirting. But when you shut off the engine, they're supposed to seal, totally seal, to not let fuel drip into the intake manifold nor let the pressure bleed off while the engine is sitting. Well, over time, the tips of these fuel injectors gum up, they get carbon buildup, and they stop sealing. In fact, a lot of times we'll put these on our testers and they'll be squirting and they won't be spraying and they won't be coming up to the right pressure. And then you, you stop the testing process and the, the pressure leaks down and you see drip, 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 just like here, look at this. See, I'm, see how badly this is squirting? And it's just dripping and dripping and dripping. Well, that's typical of what you see on a lot of these injectors with engines over 100,000 miles, because very few people or even shops will do anything with these fuel injectors. And you might say, well, my engine's running fine, so why bother? How do you know how well it's running? And maybe you've noticed that the, that the uh, what should I say, the fuel economy has declined gradually over a longer period of time. So back to the reason why it might be a hot start issue. So you, you come up, engine's hot, you shut the engine off, you go into the store, go wherever you're going, you come back 15 minutes later and the engine won't start. Or it will start and kind of pop and bang. Well, in some cases, when you shut that engine off, all that fuel built up inside the injector will just leak right down in here into the, right at the opening to the intake valves, and when you go to restart right away, you're going to either experience a flooded problem or a possible vapor lock problem because you have excess fuel and excess vapor, and therefore you're not going to get ignition in the combustion chambers. So if you're chasing hard starting issues, now the other issue is it may start, it may start when it's cold and then quit. Well, that's probably also indicative of the pressure leaking off, the fuel leaking out of the injectors. So when you go to start it, there's enough fuel vapor in there to get the engine to fire, but it immediately quits, and then you got to try to start it again. So I just wanted to share that with you. If you're chasing hard starting issues with your gasoline Mercedes engine, this is, the, this is those engines from 1976 to 1993 with the CIS Bosch fuel injection systems. They can be a V8, a six cylinder, a four cylinder, don't forget that it could be fuel injectors, okay? You know, if you've already gone through the process of changing the plugs, changing the distributor cap, changing the rotor, changing the wires, and you're just chasing the problem and can't seem to find it, consider this. And we have on my website a tester that you can purchase, which will allow you to test and then clean your own fuel injectors. So you'll find out for sure whether or not they're sealing. Remember, if you take these into a shop and just have a cleaning process done, there's no guarantee that that has fixed a leak down problem in your fuel injectors. Only way you're gonna know that is if you bench test them. So I hope you find this little tip helpful. And if you're having starting problems, consider these right here.